Hey y'all, it's Marlene Upchurch, Mars5004 on YouTube. I don't normally go live and speak. Usually it's an event kind of a thing, but today I have something to say. Something happened to me, and you know, I'm, I know this world is full of thieves and liars and people you can't trust. You can't trust people no more. They'll kill you in a heartbeat. At least I lived, right? I invested myself for seven months to a company that I thought would be my career because I moved up. They found out what I could do and I moved up to management and I managed the store for seven months months. I had the key, I counted the money, I worked with people under me, and I did it with grace, and I treated them well. I thought about them, the, the other em employees that I worked with. I thought about them on everything I did and said, every movement I made. The customers loved me. I would be somewhere else doing my things, and old ladies will come right up to me and hug me and say, oh, this is the Dollar Tree girl. It's like, yeah, I did my job right. I did my job right. Well, you know, people get jealous. And they sabotage you. And they have their own vision of how they want things to happen for them. And this happened to me, and I don't consider myself a victim. This is not a victim story because I've done a lot of praying, and even though I don't have that job, no, they didn't fire me. I walked out. The pressure got too hot. They had to remove me. Uh, the second in command over there, which is a her, hired her sons, which is against protocol over there at the Dublin, Virginia Dollar Tree. And um, I trained the one son to be a manager, so he got my position. She had to get me removed, so she was very hateful to me. Now, I contacted the DM. I contacted uh, HR, and I got with the DM. I met him somewhere else and talked with him for over an hour, and he took notes. And it sounded like he was wanting to work in my favor and help me out. And he was worried about them for breaking all these rules, which really wasn't so. In the end, he decided he wanted to block me and tell me not to communicate with him anymore. And they also have their jobs. But things were made so hard on me that I walked out. It got tough. With this one chick, uh, the second in command, she made it so difficult, and she was rude, and she, it got so bad, she went around the store and knocked everything over, so I'd have to recover it. Mm. Recovery is to pick up the store, make it look good and fresh and clean and full. It's almost impossible when you got to spend your whole shift picking up where somebody just knocked everything over. She uh, made it difficult. So I quit. But at the end of the day, the DM says he would block me for me not to communicate with him anymore. And they still have their jobs. After breaking protocols. We have protocols. There's protocols for a reason. There's rules for a reason. Um, I'm still processing the whole thing. It's very hurtful. But I will process it, and I've got a guaranteed place of work that I will be entering tomorrow, which I'm excited about. But at the same time, how do you just give yourself completely for seven months thinking that this is an investment to your future? 
jealous people stand up and, and decide they're going to knock you down and the DM does nothing about it. HR does nothing about it. They did this to the last chick that worked there. And it's so sad. She's seen it coming. That's why she halfway trained me. The other girl that they did this to. But anyway. I just had to say something. We love this store. Everybody loves this store. The Dublin, Virginia Dollar Tree is a beautiful store. The only thing that's not beautiful is the floor because the contractors did a lousy job on it. But the store is beautiful and it's well stocked and cleaned and people love shopping there. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes. People behind the scenes are jealous of each other. They lie and they steal. I wrote a composition book. An entire composition book about my job. Notes about my management job. I was assistant manager. They call it ops manager. I wrote a composition book. She stole that twice. And she lied about it both times. She stole it twice. And right now, her son has it. It's his book. I didn't have a chance in hell. But I am praying about it. Because they're going to watch me rise above this. And they're going to fall by their own sword. I'm not hoping for it. I'm not praying for that. But it is what it is. I'd hate to be in their shoes. Because I'm praying about it. Right now it's disturbing to me. I'll get over it. I will get over it. I'm moving on tomorrow. I got a guaranteed job tomorrow. And I'm excited about it. But all you beautiful people that love that store so much, I don't blame you. I love it too. I'm still trying to figure out a way how I can shop at Dollar Tree without going to Dublin, Virginia. And I probably will. But that was allowed to happen to me. I did uh, send one last email to the DM, told him he didn't protect me in this, that he was useless. He said, don't communicate with me anymore. I'll block you. And I thought to myself, okay, I'll lose nothing. <laughs> block me. You guys are the ones that hurt me. But anyway. All you can do in a situation like that is just lift up your hands and thank God and move on, right? That's all you can do. There's nothing else you can do. It was hurtful. I'm still processing it, but this will pass. But the thing of it is, people go in that store and they see the beauty of it. They see the smiles on the employees' faces and they think, this is nice. They don't know. They just don't know. The jealousy, the lives, the thievery, that actually goes on. And how unprotected these employees really are. The DM was useless to me. I went and I met with him for over an hour in the office of a different store. He wanted to meet with me and talk with me, and I did it. And he took notes. And he did nothing. Absolutely nothing. He wrote me all these emails. Oh, I'm worried about such and such because they broke the rules. I'm worried about this one and that one. He done nothing. He done absolutely nothing. I've communicated with HR. They've 
not communicate it back. Which I don't want the job back. That's not gaining anything. Um, but you know, sometimes you just need to take care of business. Let some people know what they don't know. Because they should know. Anyway, I've been praying, and I feel very encouraged. It's not woe is me. It's just waiting for this cotton-picking Memorial Day to pass so I can go over there and get that job that I was guaranteed to get. So, anyway. If this ever happens to any of y'all, just pray. Forgive and pray. I'm still processing it. I feel like I've forgiven them, but I still have to forgive them. I have to be completely processed to forgive them. And God's with me. He knows this. He's helping me. I'm not by myself. So, thank y'all. Your input is important to me. If you have something to say, leave a comment below. And I'll get back with it. But uh, like I said, I don't normally talk live. That's why I'm not doing a live stream. I'm not good at this. I'm usually behind the camera uh, recording the event that's going on. I don't get in front of the camera and talk. But this is an issue that has to be addressed. What do you do in an issue like this? I think I've already done it. I've reported it, I've prayed about it, and I'm moving on. So, what else is there to say and do? I'm not mad. So, I'm just waiting for this day to pass because it's Memorial Day. I can't go get that job on Memorial Day. I have to wait till Tuesday to go get it. So, anyway. Cheers. I love y'all. Those that are watching my YouTube with this video. We don't make YouTube videos anymore because the kids grew up. Andrew's growed up. Paige's growed up. Anna's growed up. I have no kids. So, what good am I to make videos for you guys that you guys used to love watching? So, anyway. Have a good day. God bless. And I guess I wasn't trying to tarnish Dollar Tree. But what happened wasn't right. Still processing it. Have a great day, y'all.